Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing Legendary Iron Man Difficulty. Today we're defending our home turf against an invasion of uh, the aliens. And invasions are amongst the most difficult missions in Long War. An invasion can happen if you liberate an area. And 21 days after liberation, if a neighboring area has a strength score of 8 or higher, they can essentially start an invasion. You can try to detect it. I was speaking about that in the last video, by putting enough people on intel and detecting it early, or you just let it happen and defend against it. I recommend, if you're not experienced with these sorts of missions, don't do them. Instead, try to avoid them and rather control the surrounding areas and make sure that their strength rating never rises above 8. Since I wanted to give you the full appreciation uh, of a hardcore campaign, I honestly just forgot to control the strength region, uh, the strengths of the region, so I pretty much fucked that one up. No excuse there. Um, we're going uh, to go in today with Swordsman, who's going to lead this uh, troop. We just an hour before the mission um, uh, was, uh, before we took off to the mission, created or finished uh, our third mech. I painted it yellow. It's going to be wasp, um, hopefully stinging quite a bit. We got two assaults, Wolverine and Ghost over here. We got two supports, Bob Ross on the one hand side and uh, Ris Riscal on the other hand, we got infantry, scooter, we got a gunner who just barely, it's a squaddy who just barely came out of the training, and we got cover removal with glitch plus a sniper aftermath, 10 man team, and let's explain how that mission generally works. It's basically a defending uh, mission, just like any retaliation mission, with a kind of special uh, um, uh, a twist to it that we are needing to destroy this beacon here. The beacons are usually sturdy and as long as the beacon stands there will be reinforcements every single round. I think not at the beginning but don't quote me about five rounds into the actual mission we're going to see reinforcements and that's the death penalty if you're getting bogged down in this mission and start fighting the reinforcements only, you've already lost. You essentially are forced to take a small SWAT and just run for your money, uh, go there and destroy that uh, thing. Good. We gave ev uh, or we're giving everyone here Oscar Make. And I would say, let's start. By taking some positions. Glitch moves over here. We already triggered the first pack. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention uh, the baseline of uh, this mission is I think 20 enemies. So, we're in for quite a treat. We're running and gunning. Copy that. This guy here must die. Actually, like to take that shot uh, rather than the one onto the um, onto the Centurion. So first of all, let's get everyone into heavy cover. Are you shitting me? Failure. 
86% shot and we miss. Well. Good copy. Moving on target. Oh nice. I gave her the I gave her the um, Comet Rush PCS. So after killing that Centurion, everyone now has a little bit more movement and a bit more aim chance. Let's do a 50-50 and soften up the Viper. I got it, Viper is grazed, which means we can now kill it. I got it Unless, of course, we're grazing it yet again. Alright, that's two down. Quite a lot more to go. Moving on target location. And the only reason why I'm not pressing further forward is because I don't know um, how many packs are waiting for us, and essentially we only had two soldiers who haven't had a shot yet. Killed a pack of two, which means 18 more enemies. And we can already see that there are enemy troops kind of around the, um, the beacon. The beacon seems to be on the second floor, which means once the grappling hook for our sniper is ready, so in a few rounds, might want to go down here, grapple ourselves up here, and that way we could support destroying the beacon. Moving up. All right, so let's start tangling with the guys a little bit. Mech moves up. Ah, uh, we wouldn't hit two. 50-50 to kill. I'll take that any day of the any day of the week. Can't reach all the way down there. I mean, we could go up to here. That's a bit dangerous, though. Might trigger something else. On the other hand... Alright, moving up. We don't have run and gun, but we do have teamwork. Got 
Got another pack. Which for now is fine because they can only see our uh, assault here. So it gets another turn. It's hopefully a kill. Good. Gotta deal with that stun lance over there. We continue to keep our positions. Bob moves over. And I mean, we could move up to here. Not sure if we're going to trigger something over here, who knows. We definitely need to get to the front line, so might as well do that now and see if we trigger something. Nope. That's good. Scooter moves all the way up here. Fifty fifty, I'll take that. Sixty percent, I'll take that as well. Nice. I definitely got that one. That alleviates a lot of potential pressure. Bob here gives an aid protocol to our frontliner ghost, who now has fortify and aid protocol, so it's heavy cover. If it, uh, it is plus forty, if you're if you would flank him with heavy cover, it's plus eighty, so they wouldn't have a chance to hit him. Moving up. We are overwatching and overwatching in case that the Viper begins to move closer. Viper decides to take shots at the civilians. And that's where the elsewise well-organized mission began to derail. Hmm. Luckily, there are also other civilians here. It's not only XCOM operatives. Like 
and from next from next wave onwards we're essentially fighting um, against reinforcements We don't have an additional run and gun, but this here will trigger the overwatch. Thanks to lightning reflexes, nothing to be concerned about. We're pushing further forward. We can handle the, these two. Let's deal with, with the Viper first. Didn't I just kill it? Could kill this guy. But we would lose our concealment. Okay. So we got run and gun ready again. Kill the sergeant. Good fucking job. Need to kill the berserk as well. So much to kill in so little time. Moving further to the target. This here might be a pretty hefty hit. That's good. Good stuff. Finishing the Berserk. Very nice. Walk fire to finish the, the Naga. Right. Moving into full cover over here. I mean, it's a 60% shot, might as well take it. Good, there's one more Viper left. Rest kill. Make sure that Ghost has an 8 protocol. It's the only target that these guys are currently seeing. Afterwards, position into full cover. Moving to here, and we're overwatching.
Another Overwatch for Glitch. Don't want to wait any longer. Gotta go aggressive. Moving up with Bob Ross. And let's see what the reinforcements are going to bring us. Lots of stun lances. Almost killed the Viper, nice. It double moved though, so it can't do anything else. And there's another pack over here. Okay, a Centurion is dangerous, we gotta be careful. Yeah, now the fun part about these missions start, where essentially every single round is going to be a round of reinforcements. Which means you end up with these fucked up situations where you're trying to flank the entire time. Moving up, let's kill the Viper. Alright, come on. Got a solid crit chance. I know that someone was his buddy. Nope. It's not it. Nope, that's also not it. If I know someone could give you action points oh yeah and that someone already did that hmm Moving up here. Targeted unit down. I require additional ammo. Moving in.
Good. Time to make sure that this Viper is going to die. That's a hundred percent kill. Oh, nice. We still got a chance to kill that Viper. Let's give it a try. Nice little death from above. We still got another round for a grappling hook. If we now move, uh, if we move now, that'll be a bit too early. Instead, let's steady the weapon one more time. Okay. So. Bob Ross is moving closer. Could go upstairs. This here would be a nice position. Generally good position. I much rather will take um, the Ranger up here. Because the Ranger is stationary. The gunner can theoretically move. Okay, I'll go. We are position ourselves. Over here. Headed there now. Overwatching. I mean, we got the heavy lancer. That's not a hundred percent chance to kill it. Could hand over an action. Could hand over a teamwork. We do have retaliation, but not blade storm, which means we could move up to here. Basically, block the door so that the stun lancer would probably attack us, then we can retaliate. Doable. 
And by doing that, you know what, let's save that command. And instead do a teamwork. This is difficult, but it's two shots. Maybe one of them hits. No. Okay. Overwatch. Are we going to Overwatch? Yeah, why not? Good, we have a few Overwatches ongoing. Wow, that's a pretty heavy pack. Good, two more enemies. And we need to move in the direction of the transmitter. We're very close. I'd really like to go and get it. Well, that was at least a hit. Wow, his willpower shrunk substantially. Yeah, that's one of the stun lines, uh shenanigans. That was basically, hey, fuck you, how about I run through the entirety of the map, not giving a crap about what you want to do, and I'll just kill every, uh, kill one of your soldiers. Well, not really. Oops. Luckily, we have nicely positioned on top of this roof. So we're... Hmm, should I hand over the teamwork? It's a valuable buff. I would say no, not yet. We are instead going to give Swordsman here an aid protocol. He's going to need it when he's going in soon. And our chances are good enough to take a chain shot.
We continue to move in the direction of the target. That's important. Only if absolutely necessary. You should stay back in all of the other cases. Just keep on moving. Move up closer to the stun lancer. Let's say hello, and maybe we crit him. Well, we, we do crit him. It's killing time. Another nice reload. It's killing time. Damn right, baby. It's killing time. By the way, we can get onto the roof from here, which is superb. I like it. I We're not wasting run and gun. Instead, shotgun to the face. And holy shit, is he dealing a lot of damage. I like it. Next turn, we're going to go upstairs. Ready to go. Mutant Centurion dies. Good, we're moving up all the way to here. Grappling Hook is going to be ready next turn so that we're also in the position to support with the target. going to keep our scout over here, our shinobi, and we're instead taking wasp right up here. It doesn't need any stairs. And with overdrive, we're going to shoot three times. And that thing hopefully is going to explode. Again, if you know what you're doing, those missions here are doable. But believe me, if I wouldn't have like pushed on and on and on, look at that, we're already having reinforcement packs with uh, size 4, sometimes 20, 30 hit points. More even, 40 plus hit points. So this here is pretty much a slugfest. Baseline of 20, hmm. not even close. All right, let's start with... the somewhat easy targets. That guy is almost down. Moving all the way over here. Position. 
And that's... Pretty solid shot onto the Mac. Very nice. Mac is down. Keeping sort of medium distance to not incur the weapon penalty for uh, with heavy guns for staying too close. That might be a kill. Nice. We get combat rush. Good Gonna need to reload soon. Hundred percent shot. Killing this guy. Interestingly enough, the stun lancer takes reduced damage from melee attacks. Fifty-fifty. Did not hit. Okay. Moving Bob Ross over here. Another 50 50. Holy fun. shit. There's a small chance that we can kill it. Well, there we go. Overdrive. Disadvantage of overdrive is you can miss, but to my knowledge, you cannot miss this target. So that's a, uh, a solid 32 points of damage, right? And this here might be a kill. Menace one five Very nice. neutralize all remaining enemies and secure the AO. Very nice. Overwatch, Overwatch, not sure if reinforcements should be still coming in. I might stand corrected, but normally they should stop now. Ooh, they're clustering up. That here looks like a perfect target for our flamethrower. Good, no more reinforcements. Time. To clean up and you know when they are cover uh, clustering like crazy
I almost feel bad for them. Reload. So how many could I hit with a flamethrower? <laughs> oh, three of them. All right, I'm definitely going to do that. <laughs> okay. Sucks being you guys. Start over here, Bro Ross. Bob, my man, moves right next to the Viper. Not afraid at all. Yep, and deals a moderate amount of damage. Moving the mech further down. <laughs> okay, the AOE effects are just hilarious. Shit, I misclicked. My bad. Not a problem. Didn't want to move the infantry. I like the position on top of the roof. But okay, whatever. We got the pack. And all of them are down. Good, so what we need to do now is somewhat get into that direction. There is at least one more pack with the Berserk. Probably another pack with a massive heavy mech. Good, we're reloading. I would just keep the position here. Another reload. And we're soon going to move into that direction. There's the heavy mech. This here is not pulling anything, all right. Movement engaged. Moving to designated coordinates. Good, which means we can now move everyone else up.
Our gunner might want to go on top of the roof. Same for our ranger. I'm all over it. Gotta be careful with the mech. Uh, don't want to. Uh, don't want it to use its. Um, rockets in order to get us down here. Okay, we got plenty of overwatches, and those guys aren't too far away. But before we fight the pack with uh, the enemy mech, we're essentially fighting another berserk. Plus what appears to be two stun lances. I knew it should have parked him on top. Moving over here. Moving all the way over here. Good, summons on number one is down. Moving, out. Moving into another flanking position. Stun Lancer number two. Takes some damage but is not yet down. Move into position. Target eliminated. Let's hope we crit it. Uh, still very much alive. Poporos moves in, we now need to dish out enough damage for that thing to go down. And then there's only one more pack left afterwards. I don't know if I want to use run and gun. I 
This here might be good enough. Pretty solid chance that we could kill him. Well, I'm okay with uh, stun for two rounds. Good, we're moving pretty far away, which is good. I don't know if they moved to here, I think they were standing here, but now is the wrong time to, to guess where the enemies are hiding. This here will not trigger anything. Okay. Potentially nine more civilians whom we could rescue. Which, considering the circumstances, I was absolutely willing to give up a lot of this, uh, a lot of the. Um, operatives. Back in. You know what? Let's give everyone here Target down. Oh, I thought when she scored the kill everyone would get a bonus. Apparently that was wrong. Movement request confirmed. Glitch moves into this corner. Nothing there. I think we're fighting only against one more pack. Let's reload. And get up to here. Pop can move up to here. Still want to have the overwatch shots for us. Seems doable. I'm going. I love it. Depth We're perception. Going. Very good. Bit greedy. But that's a lot of loot. Overwatch. Don't have any cover here. I'm moving to here because it is faster for a run and gun. Gotta go as close to the front line as possible with the ass uh, assaults. And I think we only have one more pack left. And they run just into our overwatch trap. Perfect. Good 
Is this going to be the very first Overwatch trap that actually works? Well, I can't complain. It was a really good Overwatch trap. Short of the mech, essentially everyone was eliminated. Alright, let's shred the mech a bit. Which means, to be efficient, we're reloading first. And then taking our shots. Moving closer. Well, that was not necessarily shredded. I think we're okay. Except we're going to miss a lot of 90% shots, in which case uh, this is going to be hilarious. Just as a security precaution. Right, that should teach Advent not to fucking invade us. Picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Thirty-five enemies. Gotcha, baby. Good, and here we are back. Good job, guys. You absolutely rocked. Our rookie got her first promotion, and normally. We would go for competitiveness, right? And this time... I am considering... to go more into the Overwatch uh, direction. She also has Guardian, which will help. Shit, she has this from above, which is nice. So, we are going to focus fully on the gun, which means center mass in that case. I like Lockdown and Mayhem, so we're really going for an Overwatch-centered uh, uh, build that deals a lot of damage. We're going to give her like a really big magazine so that she can take a lot of Overwatch shots, and together with Guardian, her overwatch will essentially be pretty helpful. So I like where that is going. Oh nice, we got two further promotions. Wasp here is our third mech and we didn't want to have the same as beforehand. So formidable is not a thing. I guess we're going to go for adaptive aim this time. 
and make it more of a damage dealer. Stings like a bee, but does it multiple times. Okay, rapid fire, without a question. Evasive is good, I like it. We don't need that eye. That is pretty damn good uh, for basically for charging in. But I think evasive is better because this here allows you to have 25 dodge against uh, enemies within four tiles. But this here means you definitely are going to dodge one attack. Uh, so either reduce a normal attack to an attack uh, to an attack with um, which is uh, grazing or a crit to a normal attack. All right, so it's going to be evasive. And look at our loot. Larum Core, Depth Perception, Iron Skin, which is great for melee damage. And a lot of corpses. We also lost, I think, three of our operatives there. And Ross here goes into training again. So yeah, on our Haven management, we're back to recruiting. Like I said, unfortunately, we lost three. But all things considered, that was a very small price to pay. Putting Wolverine in here. Question is if we can still do the supply raid. Originally, what the fuck? Originally, yeah, three days is probably too little. They're putting reinforcements in here, which means. You can see the strengths now went down from 8 to 6 because we killed all of them. And that is strength efficiently, uh, effectively lost. They won't get that back. Normally, if you reduce strength, it tends to redistribute. It's a bit complex, um, the, advent, um, uh, the advent distribution of their forces. For instance, if you invade and liberate an area, the remaining forces are distributed to all um, other areas. Which, in this case, let's say we're liberating uh, with the A-team first. Um, and this here is strength number, uh, strength number six, then it's two to here, two to here, and two to here. If we're then liberating this area, uh, the then strength seven, whatever is left, uh, is being moved over here. So, unless you liberate something which has no further uh, connections to a non-liberated region uh, it always is being pushed out and a uh, part is lost so let's say from the six strength here two would be maybe lost uh, two one and one would be distributed but if they invade you and you repel the invasion it's an effective uh, deduction in strength and by the way as a result they now pumped up the vigilance level to 29 which is probably the highest that I've seen in a while. It essentially means I wasn't giving a flying fuck about anything that happened here and was just blatantly disrespectful against them. So it's, pretty tr uh, it's, it's an accurate summary about what has just happened. Let's see if we can for the West African sector. somehow staff that mission. I have my doubts, but let's see. So, <laughs> that's going to be a difficult decision. Essentially, we could field the entire team, or almost the entire team, either with uh, two 
assaults or one assault at the back. That's the good news. They aren't tired because the last mission apparently wasn't tiring at all. But we would, we would be fighting against 50 enemies as a baseline. Can I take 50 enemies? You know, that's a good question. The team itself was solid. I just feel 50 enemies are a lot. And this time we don't have a melee character with us because he's back in <clears throat> in training and we don't have a gunner we have like what one two three four five six seven eight something is off oh yeah I see let me change something real quick we have three specialists that's too much um, we can put Aguda into the haven, uh, into the sa into the haven management here. There we go. Still good enough. And now it's the question of: Do we want another hard mission? I think you guys are appreciating it if if I'm testing the limits and we're at the point where I'm having a pretty solid and firm grasp um, of the game and we're having a lot of soldiers so even if this one here goes uh, uh, south the campaign is definitely in a super solid state so I am considering actually doing that. I'm not sure yet. I would... I'm not sure yet. It's on the edge. Like, normally, if you're at th against 35 packs, uh, 35 enemies, that's like what? Um, around 12 packs. Or if it's the jumbo packs, which uh, usually happens here, you're looking at 4 to 5 jumbo packs between 6 and 8 enemies. Um, if we're at 50 enemies, that's a lot. That is 17 normal packs. Or when we look at the jumbo packs, uh, then we're at 8. So it's really on the edge. On the other hand, we do have a good team. A lot of damage. I like the dual... Um, assault aggro we do have rapid fire on both of them can easily take out heavier targets we got plenty of healing the only thing that we are a bit weak against is probably mind control but we got a flashbang You know what? Let's go. Squad green to deploy. Good. Let's continue recruiting new personnel over here. Which means we're flying over and just helping to scan. Oh, and by the way, let me sh uh, let me tell you something about the Geoscape. Here's the thing. Sorry uh, that I fucked it up for 70 missions. I finally found out why it was lagging. I mean, look at this. 
it's absolutely smooth now. It was my fault and only my fault. I only had a single mod numeric um, health display and numeric health display apparently causes an issue because it modifies your graphical user interface and so does uh, the graphical user interface uh, modifications called mod launcher of um, a War of the Chosen. Why an in-game uh, or an, uh, an in-combat mod interferes with a strategy layer mod is uh, pretty hard to understand, but um, essentially both of the mods are fighting for the libraries, uh, the underlying libraries of the engine, the Unreal Engine, and that led to this massive slowdown. So totally on me, but I can promise for the rest of the campaign it's going to be much smoother. There are more people up for recruitment. Down here we have another recruit, so we're now at nine. Plus, whilst she's tired, she might as well help being the Haven advisor. Evac resistance recruiters and protect uh, resistance assets. Well, it's the second time. I suppose since that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. Nice, by the way. We've just got some new intel on the Chosen. It should be easier to hunt them down. You're starting to win over my people, Commander. And that says something. something Rapid collection. Resistance supplies drops are collected instantly. That isn't bad. Our influence with the resistance factions has motivated them to Could go for more influence. Uh, but we're going for reduce avatar uh, project and plus one health is absolutely great so our main shinobi is going to take that requires a second soldier and as a second soldier, I would like to t uh, nominate our sniper. Oh shit, they can be ambushed. Well, as a second soldier, I'm nominating someone else then. Let's make sure we are sufficiently equipped and outfitted. Let's build items for that mission. Oh, 
What else was missing? Oh yeah, plasma grenade. Just want to make sure that we're not fucking up the absolute basic missions. Good, he's ready. Plasma grenade, great. And hazmat vest, also good. Predator armor, good. <clears throat> so that will reduce the avatar project. Bond level two available, great. I th thought there was another team which would be ready for bond level two apparently i was wrong so that was the resistance uh the um the covert ops mission now what we need to do again is we got aboard this mission setting course for sector 11 west africa sky ranger deployed aboard infiltration Well, it does need to scare you off. Just going to kill you. Let me do this here real quick. All right, we got our, uh, ourselves a team together. Um, this time we're using a very similar team uh, as before. Double uh, assault, double support. I like the combination for kind of Im harder missions or um, emergency sort of missions. We got uh, Mitch Mitchell who's leading the team. Uh, today we got uh, Scooter again, um, as well as Aftermath for DPS. We got Bayer who just recovered our well hitting um, gunner. And that's pretty much it. These are the eight people. Baseline activity apparently is 12 enemies. I'm not 100% sure if that is true. But with that, we're going to launch the mission and that ends today's episode. We're going to start uh, right in the middle of uh, the next ep uh, on, of the next mission. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate the support. And as always, if you uh, had value, if had found value in uh, this video please be so kind and leave a comment and a like down below thank you and goodbye